Freedom Scientific, a Vespero brand. So let's talk about buffered text for a moment. The command to turn on the split braille view is insert alt V Victor. Select Braille View Dialog, List 1, List View, No Split, 1 of 8. And a little bit of a dialog opens, and I can select my view. I'll press down arrow. Buffered Text, 2 of 8. And I'll press Enter for Buffered View. Edit. So this particular view captures the text at our current location, the location of the currently active cursor, and it places it in a buffer, which is displayed on the right half of the split line in Region 2. And once the buffer is created, I can navigate to another location in the current document. So you can see I'm, uh, I'm on a line that says, when we think of accessibility in the science lab environment, um, it's, it is easy to think of, uh, and I'll just I'll not read the rest. And on the right, we also have when we think of accessibility in the science lab. But I'm going to navigate down using my active cursor. Accessibility of six. Assistive devices, adapting mainstream scientific instrumentation for challenges, the understanding of no means. And I know you're hearing broken text, but I'm just, I'm just pressing down arrow just to show you that my active cursor has navigated away, but in the buffered view, that original text is still there because there may be times when I need to look at a couple of different locations in a document. Maybe I'm filling out a test and I need to, to see what the question is, but my cursor needs to stay down where the answers go. Maybe I'm filling out a form, maybe I'm doing taxes online, who knows? But I have the ability to look at one spot um, and, and hold, that, hold that buffered view open in front of me. I can pan through it. If you can see the right side of my display, I'm now moving um, through there. The braille is changing. I'm down to challenges. These are expensive issues. I'm not going to read any further. So we've got independent control of what has been buffered, plus my active cursor can be used to enter text. You can copy and paste out of this buffer. I can open up a whole different document and paste what I've taken out of the buffer. Okay, so this is usable in a whole lot of uh, different ways um, once we buffer our text. So I can take this and I can open up a different document. Screen sharing meeting so this PC. Here. Braille commands freedom scientific brave. So I've got Deep Braille. Wind. Thank you very much. I've got a Braille commands document open now. Navigation commands. Showing navigation commands. There's a table. Use these keys. Equivalent is available. If I wanted to buffer this table, for example, and I won't do it right now. I'll leave things as they are. But just so you know, I could refresh the buffer and it would grab the contents of this table and it would buffer it. So let's say I want to be able to look at some commands, look at a text string. Maybe I'm online, I need to see a phone number and I need to reference it later. I can hold that so I don't have to try and memorize it or memorize a bunch of commands to use in another document. I can leave that buffer up. So there's a lot of different reasons I might want to use buffered text. Freedom Scientific, a Vespero brand.